Hello and welcome to this intro to StarFab series. I'm Ventivar and this is an introduction to asset extraction from Star Citizen with StarFab. When referring to assets, we're typically talking about files that make up the things you can see and hear inside the game. Not only does Star Citizen have incredibly detailed assets, but they're broken up into many, many pieces that can be reused or streamed in and out of the game on the fly to be able to support such a large universe. When looking at a record in the database, you can find the geometry associated with that record, but that is typically going to be the bare minimum required to load, let's say if the object is very, very far away from you. Let's take an example of the Drake Caterpillar. If we look at its record in the data core, we can see its primary geometry is his Drake Caterpillar model. If we extract and convert that model, we would end up with this. We've got the exterior hull, but we're missing the doors and all of the interior. With some of the larger ships, you'd be even missing parts of the exterior as well. Traditionally, you would have to find and extract every model associated with every component and subcomponent of an entity, and then manually import them and move them into their correct location, which would take hours and hours of work. To help with this problem, StarFab has introduced the concept of blueprints. In the content view, you have a few different views that let you browse different complex entity types to find in Star Citizen. Let's go ahead and select the Anvil Terrapin to extract. On the right side of the view, we have different options for conversions and what formats to convert to. In most cases, you'll want to keep the default options checked here, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on verbose logging so we can see a bit more of what's happening in the background, and we'll go ahead and click export. What's happening now is StarFab started reading the Terrapin record and it's iteratively processing every component defined in it. For each component or model, it marks it for extraction, but it also catalogs the hierarchy and position of each of those components. When the export is finished, you'll have a data directory which contains all of the data that was exported from the pack and an SCPB or Star Citizen Blueprint file. This blueprint file can be used with external tools to import and reassemble the exported entities. StarFab comes with Blender integration, so let's take a look at how to set that up. First, we'll open the settings and choose which Blender executable to integrate with. If your Blender is installed in the default location, you can leave this with Auto or choose a specific version you want loaded. Otherwise, you can add additional locations to the search for Blender by clicking the cog and then the plus button. The Blender drop-down in the settings dialog will only show versions of Blender that are compatible with the Star 5 plugins. At the time of this video, that's 2.93 LTS and 3.0. Once that's set, we can click the Blender tab at the top and install the Blender add-on. As the dialog notes, we have to enable the plugin inside of Blender before we can use them. For convenience, you can open Blender directly from StarFab, which will also automatically connect StarFab's Blender link, which we'll talk about in another video. Once in Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for SC Modding. Check the box for both add-ons to enable the required plugins. Once enabled, you should see the SC Modding menu option at the top, which we can use to import the Terrapin blueprint we just exported. When you open Blender from StarFab, it'll also make sure the console window is open. Blender will seem to be frozen when importing entities, but you can track the process of the import in the console window. Here we can see the imported Terrapin and that it has everything in place, even on the inside. Beyond ships, you can extract armor sets, weapons, object containers, and prefabs. The Entities section lists every entity in the data core that has any geometry defined at all. Prefabs are a legacy format that define how multiple components fit together. It seems that prefabs are being used less in favor for the new object container format, and there are prefabs defined that are quite old and not used in the game anymore. Object containers are the new format that defines streaming object containers that create nested hierarchy of components and models from ships to whole planets. You can extract object containers themselves, but they may be missing contextual information if they're not extracted as part of their parent, so be aware of that. This has been a brief introduction to exporting assets and entities from Star Citizen. Working with the models is quite complex and requires a good understanding of the tools that you're using. 
we'll be going deeper into working with the entities in Blender in another video. Happy exporting and see you in the verse.